Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Hazy Jane from BrewDog is the one for you. Welcome back everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Today we are trying Hazy Jane. We just got these in Michigan. I did pick this up at Hoffman Street Grocery. It was $1.89. Um, this is a 7.2% ABV and 30 IBUs. They are considering this a New England IPA, so we should have rolled it. Good job, Brad. I'll give you some more. No, you're fine. You sure? If I like it, I'll take yours. Okay. <laughs> that works. Deal. Um, can date is 6-26-2018. So about a month old. And we just got these in Michigan today. 7-27-18. So if we look at the head, head is white. Uh, all small bubbles. If we look at the side, about a finger and a half of head, bubbles are spread apart like bubble wrap. If we take a look at the color, it is orange juice in color. Maybe hazy. Hazy, very mm. hazy. Lots and lots of bubbles, just like the Punk IPA. I don't remember. <laughs> she drank it too fast. Okay, let's go I, ahead. And, and I drank it 10 minutes ago. <laughs> let, let's go ahead and get a smell. <laughs> Oh my. Yep. That's what I want to do this one first. I knew I'd like it. I knew it. We might be back going back down to Hoffman Street tonight. We're going to go down to Three Rivers. <laughs> There's got to be fun things happening in Three Rivers on a Friday night, you think? This smells good. Nice and citrusy. I, I, I think that it's almost like a juicy citrus. Mm -hmm. Not... I wouldn't say juicy fruit, no. then citrus. It's like juicy citrus. Yeah, it's not like, <laughs> um, I wouldn't say it doesn't smell like orange peel. Yeah. It doesn't smell like lemon citrus. It smells like deliciousness. Yeah, just a nice juicy, would you say, generic citrus? Citrus scent. Scent. Citrus scent. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, may, maybe a tiny bit of like herb, earthy in there, but I pretty much had to sniff as it. As long as it doesn't smell like Full Earth or taste like Full Earth. Corey loved Full Earth. <laughs> Did he eat dirt as a kid? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask him to his yeah. face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and taste. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit... It makes my mouth water a little bit, the bitterness. Like... Is it... In the middle of it. Like... Like, it, these came straight out of the fridge. It almost tastes, like, warm to me. Yeah, it's not super cold. And they just came out of the fridge. Or, it just came out of the fridge. I like it, though. It's... It's, I wouldn't say thick. No. Medium. I would say medium body compared to what I just drank, but. Yeah. And you would expect that. I'm guessing yes. they are using oats. Yeah. But it's, um, it's a nice light citrus flavor. A little, like a, like a little bitter. Just a, a touch bitter, but nothing overpowering. That's actually kind of tasty. Yeah. It's like it, uh, if you took. Orange, lemon, lime, and squeezed them into a pitcher. I wouldn't. And okay. then, like, watered down that flavor. Because the, the beginning is almost, and we're going to go back to, like, one we did uh, earlier, in an earlier video. It's almost like the juice of the meat of, like, an orange. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay. Like that's the upfront taste really? I get. Like okay. like it's light. It's not knock your socks off. It's almost like the smell. It's low, mm -hmm. but then in the back you do get a little bit or I do get a little bit 
of like pine alcohol. What? You know what this is? An all out New England Patriot of a beer. Yeah. It's as good as new. Five, just for saying that. Oh, it's God. actually very good. I like it. I would if, I would like to taste this cold. Yeah, I don't know. I mean And I don't know if you're supposed to drink New England IPAs yeah. cold. But okay, Brad, you put them in the fridge at five thirty. It's seven no, fifty three. I put them in the fridge at noon when oh. I bought them. That's why I'm saying it should be colder. Well, we'll pick up another one. My Oberon thing says it's seventy down here. But it's yeah, drink it's, Oberon time. It's good. It, it like I said, it's like the the meat juice of a uh, orange lemon mixed together. It's making me belch then, too. like water down. Yeah, it, they both. Uh, we had um, punch IPA. Punk. Punk IPA. And that one was overcarb to me too. Like I, I would say this is overcarb. I, I sure don't think it tastes terrible though. I, I actually, it's hard. It would be hard for me to pick between which one I liked the best. Well, they're I two they're, different styles, so. I know, but taste, <laughs> but taste wise, I think that they are really. I, I like that these have not been bitter. Yeah. I hate that bitter. I don't want the goosebumps after drinking something. It does not appeal to me. But what would you give this out of five? I would go four. I think it's a solid beer. Um, you do get a little bit of alcohol, I think, in the back, like right here, going down. Okay. Um, I do get some bitterness in the aftertaste. I, I want more. I, I want more citrus. I want more. I would agree with that. Um, juicy citrus, juicy fruit citrus. I, I want it to be turned up for, but for a dollar eighty nine, for a seven point two percent ABV, deal. It's definitely one you should pick up no matter what and try. And technically, I this is a month old. I know it it's could be a little bit better. Fresh. Uh, yeah, I it, it tastes depends. like out of the tap. Like draft. I feel like I might start sneezing. Oh gosh. This is only our second beer. It's my third beer of the day. No, oh, no. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> it's for a dollar eighty nine, it's definitely a steal. I'm not sure how they're doing that. Um when most of the ones around Michigan or the New Englands that we buy, M43, all that stuff, they're three, four dollars. I mean, M43 for a four pack is like sixteen ninety nine. Maybe it's because of the size of the can. But those are sixteen ounce of, <coughs> instead of twelve. Maybe maybe they're just testing out the market, seeing if they sell. Oh, okay. So what would you? <coughs> Here we go. Sorry. <laughs> So what would you I would with? go with a four also. Four? Yeah. I would give it a little bit more citrus, but I I think it tastes fine. Um, so, uh, Eli, <coughs> are you done yet? I don't know. <laughs> um, 11 of my friends on Untapped have had this or rated it. Average 3.91 out of five. 31,000 people have rated this average 3.93 out of 5. So we're right on the money. Yep. Mike Spa gave it... <laughs> Just look at the light. Get it over <laughs> with. Um, what did Mike say? Uh, 3.5. Not overly impressed with this. Had a strange yeah, well, he liked the that hard I didn't care for. He liked that baseball one, too. I did, too. You guys are gross. <laughs> what kind of taste do you guys have in beer? You like barrel-aged maple syrup. <laughs> Whatever. That's for, that's for another time. Yeah, definitely one to pick up. If you're an IPA, New England IPA fan, I think you'll be impressed, especially for $1.89. You can't go wrong. Now, the $1.89 is at Hoffman Street Grocery. I'm guessing, though, that they're in the ballpark. I'm sure. Yeah. So, Try it. Yep. So that'll wrap up this beer review. Until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing.
If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and thumbs up and check out some of our other videos.